Mario Party 9 is for the forwarding game players. If you want an opposite attraction of glimpsing shooters and dancing music rhythm games such as DJ Hero 2, then this game is for you! And it's a whole different setting in the Mario Party Multiplayer Series! So let's head over to the Hot Sauce Gameplay. The gameplay is a headline of satisfaction if you like puzzles, weird out of control minigames. I mean, seriously. If that was me, I would forfeit right away. <laughs> so yeah, it's a great experience, and you get a total of eight boards. Not a bad section if you ask me. The boards are some tedious, some are actually fun, than other Mario Parties. That says something, and triumphantly, that's very special in my video game But You get a horror castle, and some oilers that will make you go wacky and nuts on bunkers. They do have different modes to ravel your memory and fun playability. So gather up and start your engine, because you're driving in a car now. And other pretty nifty moving things. Or let's stick with this method and going around the board like a circle of monkey on crack. Sorry for being random, but it's the dynamical truth. Set the lives out in the open, because it's going to be entertaining all over again. So I give Mario Party 9 a 10.0 for gameplay, because you have boss battles to go through and other amazing travels. And eye candy. Secrets. The next one, Hot Sauce Storyline, and it involves a centrical feel to the galaxy in New Super Mario Bros. series. So pretty much I think it's nifty that they set the minigames over with the New Super Mario Bros. of feeling and the galaxy series effect. I mean, you're even fighting Bowser at the end. Not a bad idea at all, Nintendo. So as you can tell from the past Mario series, they acknowledge that Bowser is still in stars. But what kind of stars? Is it the yellow ones that are brightful? No, they're called Mini Games Disney! And it's your job to get them back. So get ready for the ultimate story. Well, not really. I mean, it's really focused on the gameplay. So I'll give it a whirl of a 9.5! Story. Not to be so harsh, but I'm a Nintendo fan. I'm proud of being one! <laughs> Next is difficulty. Yes, it's hard as heck. What do you mean it's hard as hell? Get rank. If you're not good at the minigames, you may have a tough time, but the boards get all luck based on you, which means the slots are dice so you can be luckier than a Heaven's Mama trying to reach you out of the spanking hell. Yes, it has a very touch of luckiness. <gasps> and I'm not kidding. You may be a pro, but I tried it like 10 freaking times. It was a tough outbreak to beat these computer opponents. Plus <laughs> they actually do throw um, a punch and they even add a timeline of special modes. Like a zooming one, where all the chaos begins! And hit your spiky ass in the pit. <laughs> so I give it a 9.5. Not bad. My final conclusion is buy the self mandatory game. It will be hip. Creepy! Or just stay up all night. And you'll get the monster and drink on that motherfucking liquid. This game is for you. Thanks, guys. The game will be out tomorrow as we speak. Go buy it now, or you might get eaten by a chain chop. Seriously?